it's Becca and welcome to the Carriage House, a place where you can find cozy inspiration for your hearth and home. Today is another make tea and decorate with me for spring in our dining room. So I'm really glad you're here and looking forward to getting this room all ready for those warmer, rainy and windy days ahead. Now we actually live in a real farmhouse in Iowa, so I'll be using farmhouse inspired decor in here. And I actually bought a few things off of Amazon this past week, so going to be using all of this along with some of our older things as well. But before I start decorating, I wanted to take a few minutes to make a nice warm cup of strawberry green tea. And I would definitely make you a cup too if you were here. But just gonna take a few minutes to get the tea ready and while it's steeping, I'll go back to the dining room and start decorating. I think I'm going to start off by decorating this white buffet table in the corner here. I did buy this burlap table runner on Amazon, so this is one of the newer things. And you really can't go wrong with burlap. It actually works wonderful to decorate with in any season, but I especially love to use it during spring for some reason. And I just love the rustic look of burlap as well as the feel of it. And I'm going to use some twine that I have here and gather the ends together just to give it some extra character. I'm trying to keep that rustic feel while adding a little bit of elegance to it all. I decided to put this white three-tiered tray and the metal chalkboard sign back onto the table and I put the other the few things that were on here away and I have these four really really pretty pastel ceramic teacups that I bought at Hobby Lobby a few years ago and I'm going to put little pieces of this fabric in the teacups and I used my pinking shears to prevent the fabric from raveling but this is extra fa fabric that I use for our hutch that we have in the corner and we just made these curtains the other day my husband and I but I thought this color were the color and pattern would look really really pretty during springtime and the extra fabric would be a nice way to kind of tie everything in in here and it's also a great way to recycle as well It's 
funny how time winds down Things you lose come back around And here you are again, my dear Will you say the words I need to hear? Do you love me? Do you love me? Because I need to know Find ourselves back here again Same old spot where we begin But nothing's changed even my doubts And I'm still trying to figure out Do you love me? Do you love me? Okay, so I have this box of dried botanical flowers that I bought online on Amazon, but they were meant for candle making. My kids and I are doing a unit study in homeschool on the Witch of Blackbird Pond, and we're learning to knit and make candles, among other things. But we have so many of these flower packets, and they're just beautiful, and I was really impressed with the quality. But I thought one of these flowers would look really pretty in this jar that I have here that's got little fairy lights attached to the lid. But I actually chose the dried lemon slices, and they smell so good, and I thought the yellow from the lemon would look really pretty in here. Just say so. Do you love me? Do you love me? Tell me cause I need to know. So now for the lower part of the tier, I have another silk hydrangea stem that I'm going to place in this container here and going to add a few wooden bunnies to the tray and then going to move to the other side of the buffet table and I have a little white planter and one of the new tea towels that I bought on, off of Amazon. I think they came in a pack of four. They were fairly inexpensive and they feel of pretty good quality. I'm going to put a little Mrs. Bunny in here, and then I'm going to move on to the hutch that's in the corner that have those pretty curtains. So now on to the hutch that I'm really excited about decorating now that we have curtains on the doors. And I have this dainty little fruit dish that I'm going to use to decorate with. And instead of using a tea towel for the, for the dish, which is what I often use to decorate bowls and things, I'm going to use this piece of moss that I bought at Michael's. Most craft stores sell them, I'm, I'm, I'm sure. It kind of makes a mess at first as you're handling it, but once it's in place, then it's fine. I'm going to add these pastel eggs on top of the green moss and they're actually little ornaments but I'm going to use them in this bowl this year.
Okay, so I wanted to show you these little ceramic rain boots I thought were so adorable. I got them off of Amazon, and I think they're supposed to be little planters, but you could pretty much put anything in here and they would look adorable, or just plain without anything in them. But I think I've decided to put these sprigs of greenery in here, and then I'll put them in the hutch. And I will leave links down below to everything in case you're interested in any of these decorations. But I really do need help from you guys. I have this jar with what looks like to be a grater attached to the lid. Um, I bought this at a consignment shop a long time ago, and I was very drawn to it for some reason, not even knowing its reason for being. So I need someone to tell me what this thing is and what its real purpose is. I would love to know, but in the meantime, I'm going to add some of these dried flowers to it just to brighten it up. But I did end up choosing the yellow marigolds. <laughs> 